Hello everyone and welcome to Blaugrana Everything and welcome back to the channel and a match review as we look at how FC Barcelona returned to league action with an emphatic 5-1 victory at home to Deportivo Alaves. The win sees Barcelona climb back up to second place on the table, level on points with Real Madrid, but with Atletico Madrid still 8 points ahead of both with a game in hand. So, as we normally do with match reviews, we'll look at how the teams lined up, then talk about Barcelona's performance on the night, and discuss negatives and positives from the performance, as well as pick the man of the match. A quick reminder to hit like and subscribe if you're enjoying this video so you can keep up with all the FC Barcelona match previews and reviews on this channel. Let's go ahead and start by looking at the tactical setup from both teams. Barcelona set up with a 4-3-3 with the following players. In goal, Marc-Andre Ter Stegen and a back four of Nguessa, Longley, De Jong and Firpo. With a midfield three of Ricky Puig, Sergio Busquets and Eli Moriba. While the front three was relatively unchanged except for one person coming in there, Griezmann, Messi and Trincao on for the belly. Alaves on the other hand went with a 4-4-2 as we were expecting with the following players. Ingo, Pacheco, the back four of Aguirre, Gabiria, Rodriguez, Lejuen, and Duarte, the midfield four of Mendes, Batalla, Pina, and Cordoba, and the front two of Perez and Hosolo as we expected. Let's now briefly look at how Barcelona performed in this game. Barcelona dominated the game straight away from kickoff as they seemed eager to put the tie to bed as soon as possible. But for majority of the opening half hour of the game, the Catalans were not really able to create any clear-cut scoring chances as Alaves did well to congest the central spaces of their box. This coupled with the absence of Alba and Dembele meant Barcelona's attack lacked a width and penetration to it that we so often see from the two wide men. It was therefore telling that it took some incisive wide play by Oscar Minguesa to run at the Alaves defense and fizz across into the box that Pacheco could only parry to debutant Eli Moriba who then calmly set up Francisco Trincao for the opening goal of the game. With that goal, Alaves were forced to come out of their defensive shell and play a more open game. This led to them having some brief glimpses of Ter Stegen's goal, with the German being forced into action by a Bataglia effort. However, he was equal to the task every time that Alaves really tried to bother him. Barcelona then thought that they had scored a second goal via Lionel Messi in the 38th minute, only for VAR to strangely rule off the goal for offside. Seven minutes later though, on the stroke of halftime, Lionel Messi received the ball from 25 yards out from goal and the little magician released a cracker of a shot that flew past Pacheco and cannoned in off the post. This one VAR could not roll out and it was 2-0 the halftime score. The second half started with the two managers both making changes. Umtiti came on for Barcelona whilst La Guardia and Rioja came on for Alaves. It was the latter of the Alaves subs that then sprung the game back into life as he intercepted a poor pass by Elias to run past Longley and Umtiti before calmly slotting past Marc-Andre Ter Stegen to make the score 2-1 in the 57th minute. The game then kind of went into a state where it was looking like it was up for grabs even for Alaves to get an equalizer as they began to grow more and more in confidence. It wasn't until after Coman subbed on Pedri, Dest and Pjanic on 64 and 72 minutes that Barcelona finally reasserted their grip on the game and scored three goals in the space of six minutes to kill it off. The first goal was scored by Trincao who grabbed his second after pouncing on the Pacheco parry of a Messi attempt. Then barely a minute later in the 75th minute line of Messi scored his second of the match with a beauty of a screamer into the top right hand corner of Pacheco's goal. Fiopo then added a cherry on top with the fifth goal coming in the 80th minute after some wonderful link up play by Lionel Messi and Anjuan Griezmann led to the Frenchman setting up the fullback for a tap in. Full time score 5-1. With that I'll now move on to my negatives and positives from this game. Starting out with the negatives. It's pretty hard to find negatives from a win like this one we just witnessed but on this channel we do not shy away from hard tasks. Like a detective in an 80s action TV show we will find any negatives if there are any. And in this game they just weren't any negatives. I'm, I'm not even playing like I'm not going to put Elijah on blast because he's still so young and he's learning how to play at this level. What I do have though is a bit more of a nitpick and that nitpick is surely that Conrad should have at least been given some minutes instead of maybe Dembele. I mean like come on come on give the kids a minute. 
I will now move on to the positives. And first up on my list of positives was the team selection by Ron O'Connor. Now, with the exception of Conrad, maybe, you know, not getting a run out ahead of Griezmann, I think that the selection by Coleman was pretty alright. We got to see Ricky play a full game, Elias and Frepo got some much needed minutes under their belts and Longley looked mostly solid and of course Trincao starting and finishing a whole match and you know being a huge part of the victory as well. I feel like all the rotations served the required purposes and there really wasn't any bad performance from anybody really like it wasn't a bad or poor performance. My second positive was the performance by the youngsters. We got to see a total of six players edged 21 or younger get loads of minutes and each of them performed pretty well. I mean yes Elias made an error that led to a goal but I'm sure that's something from which he will learn and he should also have had a goal to go along with his assist lest we forget he had an assist but unfortunately for him Trincao decided to be a little too selfish. And speaking of the young Portuguese winger, he was definitely the pick of the bunch for Barca's youngsters on the night with his two goals. It was also a solid showing from Ricky Puch who completed no fewer than 105 passes at a 94% rate of accuracy. I mean, that was like a crowded midfield in this game. Did I mention that? He also still managed to chalk up two key passes. And in addition to all of that, we also saw another strong showing from Minguesa with the young center back again looking more than decent going forward, playing as a right back, okay? Remember it was his dribble and cross that led to Barca's first goal and really that goal being scored so early was I think instrumental in helping this result come out the way that it was. We can go on for hours and hours guys, Pedri and Des also had solid cameos. My only complaint is that you know maybe Mateus Fernandez could have come on because I mean you're winning 5-1. Like, why the hell not? When else will you play this guy if not in a game where you're 5-1 up with 10 minutes ago? So yeah, maybe that can be the negative, you know? More minutes for Mateus Fernandes. Enough with that though, it's time to talk about the man of the match and really could there have been anyone else other than Lionel Messi. The Argentine was kept off the score sheet in midweek against Sevilla thanks to an inspired performance by their informed shortstopper Bono. I said in my preview video that Pacheco would need to be in that type of spectacular form if Alaves were to have any hope of getting any sort of result and well, despite his best efforts, Messi was just unplayable last night in scoring both goals, you know, both of which were golazos, but also orchestrating the fifth goal as well as playing a big part in the third goal as well. Magnificent showing once again from the Argentine maestro and he is deservedly Blaugrana everything, man of the match. Well, that does it for my match preview. Ladies and gentlemen, what were your thoughts on the match? Who was your man of the match? Feel free to leave your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great day and for Sabasa.